look like dog meat. Funny. How come I'm always sweating in the sun and you're always pulling night patrol? <laughs> luck, my friend. major breakthrough in communications technology. I've already deciphered several keywords understood by Godzilla, and that's just the beginning. Yo, I've spoken with the G-Man, and he doesn't exactly have an Oxford vocabulary. Know what I mean? Neither do you. But the quest to understand your species continues. Randy, we're talking about a different kind of language, broken down into ultrasonic variations, like the songs of a humpback whale. You really think he's going to respond to this better than the cry signal? Eventually. It's entirely possible that one day we can use the sonic signaler to give Godzilla very complex commands. But right now, we're limited to a few basic concepts. I am now transmitting the ultrasonic signal for surface. Hello, this is Godzilla. I'm not home right now, but leave a message at the sound of the roar. There could have been radio interference, or a change in sea level pressure might have reduced the speed of the ultrasonic waves. Or maybe he's ignoring you. He, uh, sure. It's the White House. Yo, Nick, ask if we can have a sleepover in the Lincoln bedroom. Oh, yeah, I'm ready to work on my tan. Randy, not a vacation. Major Hicks. Doctors, welcome to Palma. You get demoted to bug patrol, or is this a bigger deal than I was told? One man's in critical condition. The soldiers that found him claim they were attacked by hundreds, maybe thousands of spiders. As far as the Pentagon's concerned, we've got a potential threat to national security. Is there any evidence of mutation, or are we just here to play exterminator? That's what you're going to tell me. Want some? It's a sunblock and bug repellent all in one. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Beautiful. Lots of these fellows around. Yeah, I noticed.
Let's split into two groups and meet back here in 15 minutes. Randy and I will accompany Major Hicks. Fine. Remind me again why I took this job? You think it's possible those arachnids did all this by themselves? Ah! Ah! What? What? Is something on me? Eh, sort of. It's your, uh, face. What? What's wrong with it? Nothing. If you're a mango. Uh, I'm orange! How did I get orange? <laughs> Maybe it's the, uh, the sunblock. Some people have a funny reaction to it. Funny? I look like bad shag carpeting. Hicks! Grunty! Your color, dude. Hmm. Oh. These men were beaten quite badly. As far as I can tell, the venom's potent, but not lethal. They need injections of calcium carbonate. It'll act as an antidote, stop the pain. There's something odd about our new friends here. They've got the coloring and characteristics of immature black widow spiders, but they're too big for infants, and other physical traits aren't consistent. So, we're dealing with a new species? I would say yes. But their sheer numbers suggest otherwise. If this genus just evolved, there couldn't possibly be so many of them so soon. You know what I don't get? How there could be any black widows in the first place? I heard the females eat their mates. I mean, you'd think the guy spiders would catch on after a while. <laughs> Actually, that's a myth. A female only devours the male when they're both in closed captive surroundings for long periods of time. <laughs> There's been a suggestion that we use incendiary devices in these areas to wipe out the arachnid population. And in the process, completely destroy the local ecosystem. You can't do that. I agree, Doctor, but not for the same reasons as you. To guarantee any kind of success, we'd have to torch the entire island, including this base. And the Pentagon isn't willing to suffer that loss. Therefore, the plan is to spray every inch of Palma with FC-13. The pesticide? I thought that stuff was bad. Great! That's a much better idea. Don't burn the place down, just poison it. Who cares that thousands of innocent species will be completely exterminated? Heavy trade winds are expected in the area, so plans for an airdrop have been scrapped. Ground spring starts at 0600 hours. Major, with just a little more time to study these spiders, we can find another way. A bug's a bug, Doctor. A few hours of bug spray and we can all go home. Hydrocarbon. I'm not getting any response with the organophosphates either. Which means this hybrid's resistant to just about every known toxin. Including FC-13. Major Hicks, come in please. Over. Nick, this is Hicks. Over. Our tests suggest these hybrids aren't going to be affected by FC-13. They're resistant to... Better check those test results again, Doctor. Pesticides working? 
slowly. Explain. The spray is slowing some of them down. Others appear to be retreating from the area. Major, that doesn't mean they... Ah! Hicks, what's happening? Something's wrong. Signal Godzilla. Craven, use the beacon. We don't have time to take any chances. I made some adjustments. It's gonna work this time. Trust me. Crawler closing in. Uh, help! Help me! Uh, LC! Uh, LC! The beacon would work. Stand still and look confused. could have finished that thing off. Why did he bolt? Perhaps someone sent the wrong message. Any idea what happened to your protege, doctor? Not exactly. But evidently, your spraying operation wasn't entirely effective either. Ever think about using a sunscreen, doctor? Major Hicks! The leg of the arachnid, it's still moving! Whoa! Gnarly! Ah! Oh. At least the thing's wounded. Maybe that'll slow it down till we can relaunch an attack. Doubt it, Major. This looks like a clean break here at the top. Meaning what, exactly? Meaning that this creature is not permanently injured. Spiders are able to snap off their own legs in self-defense. The leg regenerates during the next molting period. Randy, give me a hand with this. Oh, come on, Hefe. I don't want to touch that. I didn't even like Charlotte's Web as a kid. My hero. Hey, cut me some slack, okay? You're French. You eat snails. That device is a liability. Wrong. Everybody saw it work. I called Godzilla using the sonic language, and he arrived. Yeah, I'm sure the fact that Nick was screaming had nothing to do with it. <laughs> coincidence. Like it was just a coincidence that he totally zoned out when you sent the other two signals? Enough, okay? We don't know for sure that Craven's signaler caused Godzilla to act that way. His behavior's been erratic before. Thank you, Nick. It's nice to have the support of one's colleagues. Spare me. Hello? What you got? The leg section that was left behind contains some of the giant spider's reproductive glands. From what I can ascertain from our tests, her reproductive system's working overtime. So all those thousands of other spiders out there could be her babies? Yeah. And this mutation's figured out how to speed things up even further. Hormonal indicators show that the spider can reproduce asexually, just like the first Godzilla. 
That may be why she retreated into the jungle to lay more eggs, replace her own troops. And come back with reinforcements for a final showdown. And we better start a new toxin panel. There has to be something these things can't tolerate. Oh, no! That's weird. Is it... you know... Paralyzed, I think. They're from the chrysanthemum family. It's a natural pesticide that causes sudden paralysis of the central nervous system. So, it seems the way to fight Mommy Longlegs and her kitties is with a little flower power. How much longer, Nick? An hour, maybe more. We have to finish processing the pyrethra. And I think we're only gonna have enough of this stuff to make one bomb. What are we talking about in terms of the bomb's total coverage area? Limited area. Otherwise, there won't be a high enough concentration of the pesticide. Adult spiders don't leave their web that often, and the babies usually stick close to mom. We should attack them there, all at one time. Before they attack us, one last time. Um, I have a crazy idea. Why don't we come back in the morning? You know, when it's not so creepy out. Because we wouldn't find anything. Most arachnids create a habitat at sunset and destroy it at sunup. Nobody's home. I knew we should have called first. I thought you said the adult spiders tend to stay with their web. The non-mutated ones do. Listen, all we have to do is plant the bomb, take cover, and wait. She'll be back. Negative, Doctor. What if she's moved on, made another web? The target has not been achieved. You men, stay here and radio if there's any activity. The rest of you, let's move out. Hicks! Craven, call Godzilla and get it right this time! still I'm I'm okay with the remote Nick what about Godzilla he's gonna be right in the middle of the blast no choice Think about asking me to explain myself, soldier. Hey, you think that antidote might work on the great pumpkin here? Knock it off! It's fading, right? I just got off the horn with the president. He sends his thanks. What? That's it? No trip to the White House? No national holiday? No souvenir paperweight? I'll grab you a pen next time I'm there. There's nothing wrong with a little gratitude. Now, oh, please. He's pouting. Not a good look. Especially with that fake tan. 
My sonic signaler helped make this operation a success. Oh, get serious. Just because Godzilla showed up twice doesn't mean squat. He shows up all the time. Fine. You want more proof? I'll give you more proof. Just to make sure there are no more coincidences, I will send him a command for roar! <laughs> I don't know if he heard you, dude, but the big guy definitely read my mind. <laughs>